Synesthetic. Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the 15th of um, May. Uh, 2022 remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on this channel each and every day each and every hour and yeah so guys um yeah obviously not and yeah is so many times in you know the words in any personally like for you and it is uh we've lost so many uh zimbabweans in south africa and yeah, but my panga, good was say, I got a you know, and I got I mean, over the years, we've lost so many people already, and uh, you know, Kufaka office, uh, one that is out there are people out there, but single cautious in life in moon for you, and yes, uh, may he, uh, may, may, may he so rest in peace, you know, may he so rest in peace, and yeah, so. Um, seven people who were arrested and uh, is Wakapua Bell. Wakapua Bell last week, you and uh, so obviously, I uh, discussing uh, my Patisi Lovo expressed disappointment after the court granted bail to seven people who allegedly made that the Zimbabwean national. Lovo said, Nyati's family would be very disappointed since they perceived SA as a country that recognized human rights. We don't understand why the court decides to give bail to people who allegedly killed someone in a brutal way. As a family, we are scared. Lovu told Times Live after the proceedings were adjourned at the Randberg Magistrate Court. He alleged that witnesses who were also attacked during the mob violence and had identified the accused are at home in Zimbabwe and are scared to return to South Africa. Nadia's widow was also too scared to return to SA despite being needed to identify a husband's killer, Love said. Suspects accused of murdering Elvis Nadia released on bail of 3,000 rand each. Seven people accused of murdering Zimbabwe National Elvis Nadia in Deep Sloot, Johannesburg were released on 3,000 bail each on Friday. Nadia was assaulted and burned in April when some residents from Deep Sloot, north of Johannesburg, embarked on alleged ex vg Lantism attacking Zimbabwe nationals. Residents accused the Zimbabwean nationals of committing crime in the area. They allegedly robbed some of the victims of their belongings and demanded money from their relatives in exchange for the release of those they held in captivity. Love spoke of his family's helplessness after Nyati's killing. There isn't much that we can do. But even other family members who stay there are always scared to attend court proceedings. They don't want to be spotted by family members of the accused. We just hope they will be safe, said Novo. Cedric Rasella, 41, Baron Marshall, 31, Godfrey Marshall, 31, Thomas Serebane, 53, Pumuzo Shiriangwana, 38, Tabo Mkato, 32, Puleng Chipape, 34, are charged with murder, attempted murder, kidnapping four counts of assault with intent to inflict grievous body harm, robbery with aggravating circumstances and extortion. The seven were granted bail of 3,000 around each. State prosecutor Dinesh Nadisko opposed bail. He submitted an affidavit from the investigating officer stating that if the accused were released on bail, there was a likelihood they would in engage the safety of the public, attempt to evade trial, influence or intimidate witnesses and their release would jeopardize the functioning of the criminal justice system court however granted them bail nba regional spokesperson pindi mujondwane said they accepted and respected the decision of the court the court ruled that the accused were suitable candidates to be admitted to bail taking into consideration their right to be presumed innocent and to proven guilty as well as that bail serves to secure the court's attendance by the accused, she said. When Magistrate Felipe Makasibi delivered the judgment on the bail application, she said the state didn't demonstrate the role of each accused in the commission of a crime. I'm mindful that this is not a trial court, but if they want to demonstrate that the case against the accused is strong, 
the least they could have done is to demonstrate that she said their case was postponed to july 7 and it was so uh it seems like the case is not uh, that strong because i uh, you know the woman is not there to identify uh those seven and uh, obviously not this widow uh she needs to come back to south africa and identify those seven and also uh to further explain office and uh, so that uh the npa and uh, uh the prosecutor will actually have more evidence against those seven so for the court to grant them bail is uh their case is not that strong which means that uh yeah they can be acquitted and yeah so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop here regarding to this situation and uh you know elvis nati is uh one of the of many uh zimbabweans uh that have been burnt alive in south africa and uh, since uh patanga attacks in 2010 2009 you know uh 2013 and uh, this is so sad man and uh, is me south africa you know go sumuka anytime any moment so uh people they they mustn't be uh comfortable i mean i've seen so many people commenting on social media but it is also to move on to but if you check the statistics of zimbabweans barukuya every month from south africa uh because of uh violence i mean i mean a funeral companies they are making money they're making a lot of money uh, from those uh cases and uh, so uh, you know it is said man very said some people uh, might say but sometimes we need to avoid such incidents to happen and uh, yes apana no tizarufu runongo ya usinga fungile but adzimwenya yasoka wenyasone kuti dai munhu goyo anga ari kuZimbabwe dai pasna chakaitika like this and uh, but anyway uh time you tell at the same time uh, you know wherever you are you just need to be very careful don't be too comfortable what ava wana tinozivana wana in a gap number for 10 years uh you know no, a guy probably for ten years is because you are paying rent, and when you have one, do one tanga footu kuzo kura kana chacha. In short, don't be too comfortable. Zinoirema, ano kusekerera, ita the buruangu, mustandi, whatsoever. But at the end of the day, chano ngwa chungwa da pauri ninge ngori mare rent ya ono apa every month, and so to all our brothers and sisters who are living and working in south africa you guys you just need to avoid informal settlements yeah take care of yourselves guys because my one in charge and so guys gonna keep you in the loop regarding to nyaya obviously nati you know i was so disappointed that uh one seven hour uh, couple bell and uh, but anyway you didn't get it right now to be cut bell and the uh, boys when one of my dresses and everything like that don't tell me so we're gonna see how this uh will fold and uh, here on a uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mill and Temi tv toko tukune more kwanyati is um Rambe monetary zero and uh, justice will be served. So this is uh daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mill and Timmy TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Bless up. Sinister.